Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here outside of West Hill on the Citadel server. A three and a half year old town on a seven year old server respectively. And we've been working on this uh, lilac farmstead for several streams now. We worked on some pathing around the house. We worked on the interior yesterday. And I want to, I think, try and wrap up some of this stuff. I want to work on this side. I want to kind of get a feeling for what's happening outside. We've got some wood piles and things I want to do, that kind of thing. And then we can start to add the texture and uh, finalize some of the transitions. This is pretty harsh. I'd like to make it look a little bit more finished. I think actually this could be a benefit from having a little bit more stone and not really turn into dirt until you start to go towards the farm. I feel like this should probably be stone right up to the front door. Mind Trip Media, thank you 100% for the 100 bits. Very much appreciated. Cosmic Dancer, always good to see you. Peanut Butter Sax, hello. Grandpa Crafter, how you been? Hope you're having a good weekend. The inventory is very full. So we are going to try and fix that. Uh, I want to keep some things, but not everything. I also have to finish doing some wall related things as well. Keep those, keep those. Don't think we need the book. Oh, we need more trapdoors. That's a thing. Always. I wanted to try, I think, a couple different tables. I think we're done with that. I don't remember if we're done with the oak trapdoors. So one thing I wanted to do was pile up some logs. I don't think I want to use mangrove, but we can try it. Unfortunately, mangrove has like some red on the inside of it. So that may or may not look good. We can try some spruce logs and oak logs. And I think maybe we can grab some ladders and potentially rails. Could work. And I guess we'll also grab moss and that. Crosshatch, good to see you again. Welcome back. <clears throat> So here, I was thinking of putting in uh, a wood block similar to what we have over there. So I think what we'll do is probably choose the block that makes the most sense. I feel like that one probably looks the best because it's got more contrast. And then we can put a little bit of a wood pile back here. And this is probably going to be a block of um, like a head, like a mini block, and then probably a, a campfire that's extinguished. So I'll go get those. Uh, you missed pressing send on the Discord announcement that you're live. I did indeed, actually. Uh, Cosmic, if you wouldn't mind, if you could throw... Can you tag everyone? You can tag everyone in the Discord, I think, can't you? You can just put that in general. I could also just take two seconds and do it. Sorry, I got it. Hold on. I did forget.
live now, everyone. I have to do so many links and so many different things. It's really, I really wish there was a better way to automate it, but there just doesn't seem to be a way to do it in a way that I like. Most people are usually here anyway. That's right. I've got to post it in, in the announcements channel. Thank you for the heads up. Yeah, the thing is, I don't, I don't find that the the macro posts are reliable because they often rely on like going live on Twitch and then integrating with Twitch, and I don't find Twitch a reliable um, source for that. So that's the main issue there. And we'll try that. So I'm gonna pop over here because I recently did one in the backyard of the inn. Oh, right. I did like a little mini one. Don't, man, we might want to, I might want to just copy that. This feels a little bit large, but I feel like back here we could have something like this and then something like this. Let's face it the other way. And I should probably get some coarse dirt. So maybe we'll make that a little bit smaller. It does really feel like it's in the way of this path. So I might want to either move this. See, that feels a little bit too close to the back door. Maybe we need to switch this to there. See, then it feels like it's part of the house. It's the only issue. What if we reversed these guys? How do I have a full inventory already? That's a little bit better. I still think I need to make that smaller via armor stand. For now, maybe we'll put this up on top. That's actually not so bad. I wonder if I used Yeah, maybe we should go with a, a dark one on top and the oak on the bottom. Uh, Grandpa Crafter, if this then that was a good website, it constantly breaks for me. Uh, I was using it for things like Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, and I just, it was too much of a hassle. The format wasn't good. It was a cropping images and it just stopped working and stopped responding to me trying to fix it. So I just gave up. The, um, the way to probably handle it would be something like a bot, like a Discord bot. Because really, right now what I do is I write the Twitter post. It's very easy to share the Twitter post from Twitter to Instagram stories. That's like a one button press. 
and then I have to just add the link, but I've got a shortcut on my phone for that, which is fine. But then the Discord, like I just have to type it every time. I've tried to actually streamline it a little bit on the Discord by uh, adding, trying to get like key commands and try to have like a macro button on my stream deck to do it, but it doesn't work. It's It's silly that you can't, you know, as popular as Discord is, the Discord plugin on the stream deck is not great. All you can do is like automatically switch channels. You know, you try to post a link and it just doesn't, it just doesn't work. And it's a different link every time, right? Like it's not, you know, like I'd want to post to the Twitter post. So anyway, like I said, it's frustrating, to say the least. That's right. I didn't, uh, I didn't bring over what I wanted to bring over. So I think I maybe need to get rid of some stuff here. My inventory is just too full for what I need to do. I'm trying to think a little bit too, too far ahead. And we're back to full. You know what? Let's just get rid of all this. And I can test out that table while I think about it too. First, I need a spruce block. Way for night. Good to see you. Welcome in. Blast Jordan. Hello, hello. So this just feels like a lot of the same color. So we'll try a spruce one. Yeah, that helps. And maybe I don't have to bother with doing the whole ax thing. I can just, you know, leave this the way that it is. What I'd like to do here though, is scuff this up a little bit. So make it look a lot lighter, packed down. And this is where I wanted to make sure that the inside of the house worked out right so we didn't have to move any walls I'm pretty sure that I did that only because it was the only option I definitely need a darker darker block somewhere So in here, I was thinking it would be good to add some greenery and this feels like a good spot for like a natural flower bed. Maybe we can grab some more allium or something. And I like the way that this is flowing, but I'm probably going to want to try to get some extra um, depth in here. So I'm probably going to end up doing things like this. And I'm going to go get some rooted dirt. Min data pack. Hello. And JD universe. Welcome in. Mud. Packed mud. Muddy mangrove roots. Like that and gravel. Don't think we'll need a lot. Getting to the point where I'm starting to feel the, the constant back and forth. Now, is this going to be too dark? That's not terrible. Trying to make it feel a little muddy, maybe. But this could also have like the benefit of having like a stone platform maybe I 
Yeah, I feel like adding some stone here could probably help. We'll go with that. Bit of grass there, maybe. So that we can't put anything in that space. Uh, I don't think I'd want another bush there. Actually, you know what? That's not bad. Whoops. Is there anything that looks sort of like dead grass? I guess I could go with something like this. It's probably a little bit more like it. I always struggle with wanting something that's in between. Oh, you know what we could do? We could uh, make this green. Whoops. And probably make this root colored, I guess. And do that. Right, so it up close it looks kind of dumb, but it looks more like some sort of mossy. Actually, let's make that green instead. Just to make it a little bit brighter. Not a huge difference. I wonder if it would be better not to have this underneath here at all. I kind of want something darker than moss, but I don't know of anything darker than moss other than like green terracotta. I think lime is the same. Yeah, a little bit duller, but not crazy. See, there's not enough texture to that. Hmm. Could try wool, maybe? a little bit better. Can't see anything in the dark though. Uh, Min data pack, we are working on the exterior details of the farmstead. So it's a little lilac farm, flower farm, not in like the Minecraft redstone sense in the just like the aesthetic kind of going for a cute little farm vibe. And we finished up the inside, I guess, structural details yesterday. So I know I don't have to move anything. So now I'm putting like flowers and different things around the outside when I have room in my inventory, which is seldom. Don't have both.
That's actually not too bad. I feel like that might read as lighter. It's hard to say the sun's not really that high. That's about the same. It's lighter than moss too. By a hair. I can't think of anything green that would go underneath that. Concrete is going to have not enough texture, so I guess I'll just go with moss. Yeah, the texture of the green wool is is fine. It it certainly works if you're overlaying it with a bush. I just wanted something darker. So my other thought would be to like have something below here. So that to me is too bright. So what I want is to have something darker. And so maybe the solution is actually to double down on this idea. And then just put the bush on top like that. But then this feels like the back is not what I want it to be. I think that's probably the better way to do it. And maybe we can put some grass there. Oh, they're both singles. That sucks. I was hoping for more. I think that might be a better way to do it. Yeah. Do want something in front of this though. If I go up a block space, does that change the flower? It does. Well, that's pretty convenient. I didn't realize that the Y value would change that. That's cool. Oh, definitely the allium. I think the pink is just a little bit too light. I need just a little bit more room in the old inventory. Same. 
and maybe we end up with a little bit of wood along here. Maybe this could even be wood. I think that could work. And then maybe we could have a bit more of a stair here. We've done this other places as well. This is why I wanted to keep all the oak in my inventory best I could. Not oak, uh, spruce. And I don't have quite what I want. I'll come back and fix that up. I feel like this is pretty good. I would like to have a little bit more moss carpet. I feel like maybe, maybe I've made this too skinny, do you think? That's probably fine. So same idea here, we might be able to get away with a little bit of this, maybe. And then maybe we could make this look like it's a retaining wall. At which point it might be better to do, well, I guess we can have both. That sort of works. Especially if I change this. Uh, I do this. Aha. Not bad. I wonder if this would look better as mangrove. I would say yes. Does anybody know of any Unicode symbols that um, work well for uh, nails? Out of curiosity. I mean, I've been using this the entire time, so I'm probably going to keep keep using it, but I feel like there's some opportunities where it could be worth checking out. This might be a good thing here to switch up as well. And I'll go back with the moss and then that. Yeah, sure. We indeed did build this city on spruce trapdoors. I think I gotta be careful with that. It's really close to the color of farmland. I 
think there's a bed in here I can use. Two different one founds in copy characters. Um, I don't remember if I bookmarked that website. I think I threw it into the Discord. Don't remember. Uh, I would say yes to that. Although it feels like it needs a little something. Maybe that has to be a, a proper trapdoor. All right, I'll leave that for now. I could use the inventory space. Bob the Twitcher, hello, welcome in. And I can put these back, I think, for now. Uh, the table flash because it's a data pack. That's why. I might not even make it a table. I might just make it like a proper log like that. I think maybe with a dark oak trapdoor that could look good. We'll see. Anyway, what I wanted to do is kind of get all this stuff sorted out here. I don't know what to do here. I, I feel like we could put something here. Like we've got enough room here for like a six, you know, like a six bed little thing here. Either raised or not raised. And then I was thinking it could be something like not beetroot, but maybe, maybe we'll keep it low so it doesn't block the view of the house. And then I can make it, I mean, this is going to be a real temporary look, but if that was like potatoes or something, I think that could be all right. Yeah. I just, I realized I was watching um, B00 on YouTube create a really beautiful forest earlier today. And I realized that you can bookmark positions and I don't know how to do it with the free cam, but if I look under... Options, controls, keybinds, free cam, configure GUI, GUI, control player, reset tripod, not bound. Reset tripod, not bound. And there's no other... So let's give this, hmm, P, play, pause, replay, nope, um, U, open waypoint, minimap settings, T, R, do I have anything set to Q? Quick mode? I don't know what quick mode is. I wonder if there's an F key I could use. Aha! F8. Reset tripod. So, in theory, I can go over here and be like, this is the view I want to mess with. I'm going to do F8 and then F4. And now when I hit F4, oh no, I thought it was supposed to switch right to Free cam has been disabled. Hmm. I'll have to look into that off stream. Basically what it meant was you could bookmark 
the position of the camera with the mod. And so if you're constantly trying to go back and forth and back and forth, as I often do, rather than, um, rather than doing this and then backing up and flying every single time, it just bops you back and forth between the two positions. It's something that uh, Pixlrefs and I were actually talking about is something that would be cool to have on like in some way in vanilla. Oh, uh, Wafer Knight, it's a great video. What's really, what I, one of my favorite things about that B-Dub episode is, one, the way that he explains things, because he's talking just like I do when I'm talking about framing a view and controlling the eye and being an artist and painting in Minecraft, all that kind of stuff. But one of the best parts about that video is a candid conversation between Tango, B-Dub's uh, Scar, and um, Etho. And it's not... They don't have their like, hey, everybody, look at me. Like, not that they're looking at me, but like they don't have their projection YouTuber voice going in the same way that I don't have my my podcasting voice on my on the stream. Like I have a different cadence and a different volume and all that kind of stuff on podcasts than I do on stream. Anyway, uh, it's a really cool conversation among friends artistically discussing what B-dubs was doing in Minecraft and receiving criticism and giving criticism and like it's it's a really cool part of that video i'm so glad that he included it because it makes it feel a lot more relatable and real than the the showcase style videos i mean his videos have been like that all season so i'm not saying that this is just unique but it's unique to have a conversation between like four of the builders that i admire on hermitcraft it was really really cool uh i don't need the door i don't think uh, potatoes. I could try berry bushes, but I don't think that's going to look the best. And I can't think of anything else that would go there that would look good. Carrots might be a little bit too bright. We'll try them. Yeah, I've really been enjoying watching watching B dubs. I think what I like so much about B dubs this season well, I shouldn't say that. Everybody that I watch on Hermitcraft this season seems to be taking their time. I think it's only been a couple of spots that were really big builds happening all at once. This is the problem with having a full inventory is that I need the hoe and I have no room for it. Another reason why I think we should have a separate inventory wheel for tools. Do these, I don't know if these go on farmland or not. They hover and they probably don't keep the farmland the way that we want. Oops. I think, unfortunately, the red berries are a little bit too much. Carrots might actually be the right solution just because um, they're lower. It's roughly the same color as the potatoes. Yeah, I think the carrots are actually the winner. I've seen that said about the season from Hermitcraft on a lot of 
fans or from a lot of fans. It's a really nice direction to see. Yeah, I think I think the problem I shouldn't say problem because I mean these are all people that are way more successful at this Minecraft YouTube thing than I am. Well, I mean, I, d I don't put a lot of effort into YouTube. It's like comparing apples and oranges. I'm 100% a Twitch Minecraft streamer. YouTube is simply a archive um, and place to point people for stuff they might have missed. Um, oh, we need to have more carrots. Okay. I think I brought more carrots with me. Um... Yeah, the um, the thing I like about the the pace on Hermitcraft is that it it helps things feel a little bit more attainable to the viewers. Because I mean, I'm you know well aware that these people do it for a job. They can spend a lot of time. They can justify it because they've got the income to sit and play Minecraft for eight hours a day, right? I don't. I can't justify that. Um, but I think that. I think it's a really cool, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not, tr I guess transparency might be, not that they were ever trying to obscure it on purpose. Transparency suggests that previously it was obscured by design. And I think it was just obscured by the assumption by some creators that viewers would not find a slower pace of project and less big cuts to be as interesting. I think there's a certain pressure to kind of create like a super engaging video 110% of the time. And uh, I don't think that that's true. I think that, um, and it's been my experience given, granted I don't have a lot of following on here compared to Hermitcraft. Um, I do think though that um, I've had enough positive feedback to know that this is something that people are interested in. Unedited videos of Minecraft content, you know? Granted, they're long, you know, it's one of the reasons, there's, there's a couple of reasons why I've shifted my streams to two hours. One, it's less sitting time for me, which is important. Um, I get to go to the gym a little bit more often, that kind of stuff. Uh, then there's also, um, I don't know if this is going to look good. There's also just the idea that I, um, I have a shorter VOD on the other side that people can, that can watch and, and consume easier, you know? I mean, I can sit down and watch a two hour video on Minecraft, um, if I'm in the mood for it, no problem. The, the, the issue is that that's, I'm a very special case in that I have the time and whatnot. I think maybe the, um, the oak trap doors that I just put back are probably a good, a good solution here. I can't think of anything else that would look good there. Oh, maybe jungle. Jungle would be good too. We are trying all the things today. It's also possible that hanging signs might look good. Definitely a long play genre on YouTube. Uh, that your VODs fit into. Thanks very much. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, Peanut, thanks very much. I appreciate that you think I deserve more subs on YouTube. Uh, tell your friends. <laughs> That's the comment that I leave. Like when someone leaves a YouTube comment that says, you deserve more blah, you know, recognition or something, whatever on YouTube. It's always very lovely. Um, but I also say, thanks very much. Please tell all your friends. <laughs> Because you making a comment helps a little bit, but you telling all your friends to come and check it out helps a lot. <laughs> so do that. <laughs> Please and thank you. I am 
really just throwing spaghetti at the wall here. I do kind of like that. I think I might have to change this. It doesn't even interfere with the stair. I thought I was going to have to move this, but this feels like it's a, enough of an angle. You know, like I could almost remove this and put in like a, a stair or a full block. That might be a little bit heavy. Yeah, trapdoor is probably better. I can't tell what color I want to use because it's raining and everything is now gray. I think I like the sign bit though. Do we think we need trapdoors on both ends or is it cool just to have it open like this? I'm tempted to hide a water source because I really like the dark, um, the dark soil. So maybe we can hide a bucket of water here. That's not going to turn any concrete, so it'll work. How would you feel if there was a river stone block in the game? I mean, it would depend entirely on how that would look, <laughs> you know, like wanting a new block in the game. Sure. I mean, I'm always open to a new texture, but like if the texture is too busy or the wrong color temperature, like it becomes less useful. The thing that I'm on board for when they add new blocks to Minecraft is a texture that can be used in multiple ways, right? I think that's important. For example, I can use andesite to make stone look scuffed up. I can also use andesite to make it look like sun is hitting the stone and it's a bright bleached part. So scuffed up versus shiny, right? Two completely different things, but it works in both, you know, because of the way that lighting works in Minecraft. In the vanilla no shader version. I wanted jungle trapdoors. No, yeah, jungle this. You like the trapdoors on both ends? Oh, I meant to bring water. Whoops. So these unfortunately have the stripped look and this has the plank look. So these have a lot more green in them, which is maybe good or bad. I'm not sure. Also just realizing that if I put a trapdoor here, I can't hide a bucket of water in that one. I'll have to put it in this one and put a carpet there. So here it's hard to see because like those are temporary beehives back there. They're kind of bleeding into the distance, but I don't know. I think it might be a combination of oak and jungle. 
I have to wait until it stops raining. So these are the little functional areas that I really like adding. Uh, if I do that, we're going to be able to see the water. Darn it. Where can I put... I guess I can hide it here, couldn't I? Right there. That way this farmland will... Oh, nope. I guess I have to do that the other way around. I just realized I had water out here, too. Crystal Alpaca, subscribing with Prime. First sub of the day. Thanks very much. Very much appreciate the support. That is seven months. Holy smoke. Okay, so that works. Yeah, the hanging signs can make really cool bridges, I agree. Now that we've got some sunlight, what do we think? I think they definitely have to be not spruce because the spruce kind of like blends in with all the wood up here. I think I like, I think I like the oak. I'm just wondering if the oak with the jungle trapdoor might be fun. Nope. Maybe we have to go oak and the tried and true. Sweet Sandy coming in. Hello, hello. And Mind Trip Media with another 100 bits. Hunter Triple Five gets it a tier one sub to JD Universe. JD Universe, make sure you connect to your Discord and your Twitch. You can join us in the Discord. And thanks to those three bits of support, that kicks off a hype train. Thanks very much. Yep, I think we go all oak. I wish there was a way to do like moss covered trapdoors, but there isn't. True Purple subscribing at Tier 1. 63 months. You're almost a senior subscriber. You get to draw old age pensions in two more months. <laughs> and Sweet Sandy with 100 bits. Thanks so much. Uh, I could put these away. I'm going to double check on these, but I'm pretty sure we're good. I thought I already had those. Weird. You're at an hour, but like wait for the hype train to finish. Yes. Yeah. I will wait for the hype train to finish before I go on a break. I don't know if there's anything cool we could put on this to make it look like it's somehow fashioned. I guess I should try. I could try. Oh. Is that? Yeah. I can try this. I remember trying this before and they have a weird spacing on these signs.
I know it's not nailed into anything. Maybe it's actually just nails of stuff being held together. I just think it adds a nice little detail. I could also take it down a notch by making it brown. That could help too. This may or may not look good. Oh yeah, that looks much better. Sweet. I guess I could have also tried dark gray, but I think that looks good. Now I don't think I want to go across here. It's a bit too much. I would have really liked to have used um, fences. Not fences, um, signs, but I can't put a sign. It just kind of goes sideways like that. What is that attached to? I guess the side of that. Nope. I guess I could leave that there on its own. No. <laughs> it's funny how it looks fine from one side, but absolutely does not look good from the other side. I don't really know the purpose of this. I just think it looks nice with a frame. That is the... Big old drop from Cosmic Dancer, 1,000 bits. Holy nuggets. These are for the Blue Jay. Oh, you can hear the Blue Jay? <laughs> he's on the other side of the yard. Probably sounds like he's on my shoulder. Springtime, the birds are chirping. I think that looks good. Maybe that will give it a little bit of a border. I kind of want to put some rocks in here. I'll worry about that when I do the path. Right now I want to try to stay focused around the edge here. Got another th four minutes. I was going to say three minutes, but it's three minutes and 45 seconds left on level two of that hype train. It's uh, 100 bits, a tier one sub or a prime sub will get you involved. I wish I could do other things. I wish I could do like Patreon subs or, or Streamlabs donations, but the hype train are strictly Twitch related. So that feels pretty good. Crap, I knew I knew that I couldn't put can't put concrete anywhere there. Maybe here. I like moss so much better than grass. I tend to replace a lot of it. Anyway, let's uh figure out what's happening here. One hundred bits from Elkhorn. The mighty Elkhorn is here. Thanks very much, Elkhorn. I really appreciate it. Course dirt. So along here, I feel like there's more opportunities to have a little bit more 
uh, fun. I feel like we could do, can't put flowers in those spaces. So, and I don't want to put mossy, I guess I could fit mossy on some of these. Right, so these two could be mossy bricks if you wanted to because that pillar inside is blocking them, so that's a good idea. And then I wonder if I got rid of this, if I could then get away with having a bush there instead. And then I could put, I don't want to put a flower bed around the chimney, that seems kind of silly. I feel like there needs to be something here though. I'm wondering if we could make something practical like, if I was to put, is that the chimney? Yeah, okay, that's the bottom of the chimney. What about put that there? As if that would be maybe somewhere as you could toss firewood in, although that doesn't really make a sense because our wood pile is somewhere else. All right, never mind. But the idea would be to have at least some bushes here. It could be actually kind of fun to have something climb up the chimney a bit. Uh, it kind of takes away from the shape. Maybe it goes the other way. Maybe it goes up on the roof. Oh, I like that. That completes the hype train at, I think it was level two. Yep. Partway through level two. Thanks ever so much for your support, support folks. I can't speak today. Now you may go on the break. Cosmic Dancer has allowed me to go on the break. Well, that's fine because it's dark. Um, but yes, I want to keep on top of these today. Uh, every now and again, I deal with some lower back issues and sitting for long periods of time is bad news. So I'm trying to move around a lot in the last few days just because I can feel things coming on. But with the joys of getting older. Anyway, I'll be back in about five or six minutes, folks. If you're new to the stream, just hang out, chat amongst yourselves. I'll be right back.
All right, let's see if we can finish going around the side of this place. That is a lot of mobs. Minus one, minus two. How do you both have gold armor? Ha ha! He had thorns. Did he have an iron? He had an iron ingot. Wow. Do Okay, what was I working on? I was working on a bush, wasn't I? Lovi, I hope I said that right. Welcome in. Thanks for saying hello. Spot on. Oh, good. I very often am not spot on <laughs> with that stuff. Right, so I feel like we could use a little bit of grass over here. That might be too much. Burn. Nope, I think just we'll go with moss carpet. I wish the fireplace wasn't so loud. Between this one and this one, it's like double the double the noise. I guess I could turn that one turn that one off. I could extinguish that one, but then there'd be no light in here. This is where I want the jungle, jungle leaves. Do I want that to go that far out? I don't think I do. wrong thing. Neither one of those work. Okay. Maybe these two. Or maybe just the one. And I don't really have anything that looks like mulch, I guess the mangrove maybe. I'm trying to think about something that might look a little bit more mulch like that's pretty good so many different tools
So it's that, or maybe we can put actual grass back there. I think I like that. I think that might be a fun way to get some uh, mossy cobble and other blocks in there too. Ranger, hello, welcome back. I think that works. We can get some mossy things happening there too because these are exterior, they don't affect the inside. And so here again, I think I'd like to try and do something that focuses on some flowers. And so we'll pick the blocks that have these double flower bits on them. I think that might be a good way to go. I think I want to leave this clear and I'm struggling to think about what we could put out here that could make sense. I don't know if I want to put like, I don't have any slabs or anything. I don't think extra blocks out here would look good. Yeah, too heavy. Maybe like, slab or I don't know kind of feel like th this could use like a little twist at the bottom so maybe another set of stairs so maybe if I move these and we'll go get like a set of andesite stairs maybe or cobble I feel like your problem is in too many tools is that many other things carry as well as the tools. Yeah, there's that too. I've also been carrying a bunch of stuff around that I've been planning on building with for like the last hour and I've not actually attempted it because I'm still trying to work my way around the corner. I find that sometimes when I'm doing detail work, I think like too far ahead. Um, stone. One of those might work. Basically, I just want to make sure I get this path in the right spot so I can build a wood pile. So this might be too big. No, you know what? I think that's just about right. Yep, I think we're good. Oop, not that. It might even be better to have some mossy stuff there. Maybe a vine? That could work. Don't remember which one that's in. Really? Do I not? Where do I keep the vines? Flowers on that side. Do we want to stick with the purple? I think, I think we probably do. I'm trying to remember the blocks I used for mulch. I think it's like, yeah, soul, soil, and soul sand. Roots.
think that's good. I find it interesting that I'm using this road more often now, so I'm kind of wondering whether I need to have like another little another little access point, like maybe here would be good. Would make sense. Especially if we're, we're their neighbors. So in through here, I want to create some sort of flower bush combo. But what I want to do is figure out where these flowers are going to look the best. Right. So we can put these, I think they look really good on the root of dirt. There's not much of a border there though. Did I do anything over here? I think there's actually a strip of grass between. Yeah. Oh, right, the pink petals too. See, I think we could do something like that over here. So if that's the case, maybe we don't have them that close. So that could be pink petals. Oh, that's too far up. That's better. Hmm. I feel like that's too symmetrical. I could do some pink petals there. So maybe I'll make that moss. This could be lighter. So could this. Whoops. Now, what could I put there? I guess more pink petals. I don't remember. How do you get more of these? You just bone meal them? Yep. Oh, you can just sit there and spam it. Oh, nice. Sweet. That was easy. Okay. So the trick with these is that they start in like the bottom right hand corner, depending on where you're facing. So you want to go like here and then there. Nope. There. Uh, I want that to go that way. Eh. 
And then this way? And then maybe we'll squeeze in the one right there. And if I can remove this, then I can do one here. How's it go with that? Sideways, so... Oh, it touches the flower. Hold on. That probably looks the best, I would say. Yeah. Not that that makes a big difference, but uh, do I want that to be darker back there? Probably not. Okay, so I think that settles the left-hand side of that. And so now we can pop in here with a little bit more texture. This would look good as packed mud. That's not bad. I can probably work on this because we can probably put a wood pile here and then adjust the path accordingly. So what I want to do with this space here, and I don't think I want it to come all the way to the front. So I want to kind of think about where it might get off to the side. I think probably about here is where I would want to start it. So what I was thinking would be like some logs. Probably flip those around. And maybe bring that one forward. I don't know if I want to put a third one up there. That's actually not too bad. This might be just a little bit long. A little bit smaller. I like that. And what I was thinking, I, I wanted to try and wrap it up. So you can do that sometimes with rails. 
But then on this side, I can go vertical. It's a stretch. It's not, uh, doesn't feel like it's the best home cooked way. Slay, welcome in. Uh, sleep. Wink Scrugan, good to see you. Doing well, thank you very much. Chill Sunday. Had a nice breakfast. Read on the balcony for a little while. A little bit of work. And then back to being... I think I'm going to go outside after this, actually. Back to a relaxing Saturday. Yeah. I think it is better if it's smaller. I don't know about this. I kind of think maybe we should go really vertical here. So if I remove that, but then make this like that, maybe. Just wondering if it's going to look better to go this way. I think that looks a little bit nicer. Whoops. I think that's good. And then maybe we just do a little bit of pathing here. Nothing too crazy. That actually works out quite well. I'll get these back briefly. And there's no, I can't think of any way to really portray Sawdust. I guess maybe some, some mud, packed mud. Maybe we'll move this. It's always fun just cutting little patterns in and seeing if you can rough things up a bit. I also got to remember I'm going to planning on I'm planning on putting a couple of slabs along here too, so that'll help frame up the area a little bit.
No, I think that's good. I'll have to see what else we can do over here, but right now I'm focusing on this area. Pretty good. Hay bales work well as sawdust? Yeah, you're right. That's a good call. I was thinking more like bark stuff as opposed to actual sawdust, but you're right. I've definitely used that before. See, this I think is probably going to need more structure like the other ones have had. So we might potentially see more more wood happening over here. Don't know about that one. That's a little bit in the way. Put the sign back, but you get the idea. Oh, these were better as uh, mangrove. Okay, I think I like that. And that means that this wall really isn't going to move much. If anything, I might tighten up this front part. It feels like it does this really big sweep for no reason. So I feel like we might be better off taking this back. But I think that adds just enough. Definitely makes you feel like you should walk between here. It's a really fun reveal coming around the corner. It's a lot of color. All right, let's let's get rid of this inventory after I test out these vines that I forgot about. So the idea was to maybe try and put, um, I can't do a vine there, why can't? Oh, because there's a, I think I like the carpet better there. And then I think we just need the one. Yeah, and then I can maybe make some mossy, mossy bits instead of of those okay time for a little bit of a switch here done with you done with you don't need you right now some mossy cobble and finds mossy cracked what else did I use over here mostly mossy a couple of pressure plates Tough. 
When did I start labeling the Shulker monster? Uh, when we added the data, not data pack, the mod uh, Shulker Plus. It's from Iskal 85 Steam. I don't like the blocks, but items look good. Um, blocks stick out too much. They look kind of funny. But there's another data pack that you can use from the Hermitcraft server that allows you to rename objects to rename the texture or change the texture. And so people were taking sticks, which display flat like this, and changing them into block textures. So, like you could see a brick on top of this and then like a stone on top of that but i haven't done that because of course that that data pack is not going to work in 1.20.21 as it's written now it when it's eventually rewritten i think i might talk to the other folks on the citadel and maybe adopt that because i do i do like that idea And bricks. Now, I think that's all I want to do. Don't want to overdo it. I don't think there's a room for a cracked in here. I guess I could maybe make this one cracked. There's a giant hole there. Uh, maybe this one. Yeah, I think that works. I almost want to make this a cobblestone stair. And then where else did I want to put stone? Oh, right. I wanted to try it here. Mm-hmm. Yep. I like that. This is feeling odd. I feel like we could do that here. And maybe have that also connect to this. don't think I have the right block combo here, but do kind of want to get this feeling like it's sort of slowly spreading out. That doesn't look very good. Got a funny feeling we're gonna have to sacrifice that little point. This I would want to have a rougher look. But I don't have the blocks. Yeah, it feels a little sharp, so maybe we don't go quite so far. Yeah, that's better. I don't know what I could do here that would be the right color. hard on such a small scale. If 
That's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, I don't want to line those up. That's right. I'll worry about this when I get to designing what's happening here. We can put in the coarse dirt though. I think I just ran out the other day and forgot to complete it. Yeah, okay. We're getting there. Getting there. Not quite happy with this area, but I want to focus more about coming around the front because I want to figure out what's happening with this wall. So let's fill this in temporarily. And I do like these flowers, so I'll leave them here as long as I can. I want to try and take inspiration from them and maybe put some sort of flower bed up front. I don't think we're going to do yet more of the, um, what are they called? Alliums. So I might try to switch gears in the front. Maybe it'll just be pink petals, I don't know. But I do want to relieve my brain and get this inventory down to something a little bit more manageable. that should do for what I want now is deep slate and some slabs. I'm not going to bother with like crazy amounts of texture here. I just want to get a feel for moving the wall. So right now, even after we've put in this side yard, this just feels like a huge amount of space right? This feels like more of the natural kind of path. Uh, so I think what this might need is to be just re re tiered a little bit. So I don't think I want to put a wall up higher because then you're not going to be able to see the house from below. Yeah. Like I don't want this to be higher than a couple of slabs along here. And even then that blocks a fair bit. So what we'll do is think about more the natural curve of the path. And maybe bring it into about there. And then maybe try to connect it up with that. So I could just start with where I've got the curve now. And that still leaves a decent amount of space up here for something. That might be a little bit too close now that I look at it. What about two blocks farther?
That's a little bit better. And then we can come back here and start to taper this off a little bit too. Now that's going to be maybe too much. Yeah, a little bit too much of a perfect curve. So I'm going to make this feel a little bit less like a circle, more like an oval. House with its own rugby pitch. Yeah, well, there's a, these plots are probably a lot bigger than they need to be. I don't think I want to pull this too far in. I don't mind having a little bit of extra green here though. That's fine. I do think this looks a little bit crowded. One, two, three, four, five. Might have to split the difference here. Thank you, Cosmic. Much appreciated. That's feeling a little bit more organic, I think. I might push this a little bit farther. And then try to connect it up with, I guess, here. Whatever feels like a natural, that's probably better. Maybe we'll push this just a little bit farther back here. Whoops. Do I like that? So <laughs> in trying to make it look less perfect, I ended up with another curve that's fairly uh, fairly nice looking. I was hoping for something a little bit more organic. Uh, what can I do? I guess the trick there is to make it flatter, right? Uh, 
Oh, it's too close. One, two, three, four, I'll go five. Right back to where I started. Maybe this has to be steeper. That's a little bit better. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah, okay. We'll leave it like that for now. Not a perfectionist. I don't know what you talk about. Shush. That does, that does leave a lot of space down here. So I don't know what to do about that. Feel like this could be cut back. And this could wrap up and connect maybe in here somehow. Two, two, two. Something like that, maybe. But obviously, down a level. Then maybe we can do more of those bushes that we were working on on the other side. And then that's a lot of land out here to fix, too. Maybe it just needs more trees. I don't know. I can always put it back. Not hard to do. I feel like that's just more interesting, right? Maybe we just have to adjust the road, you know? The road made a big swing and it's a little boring. Maybe it would be better to have this road have like be tighter to this side. Um, that could give us more play over here. There's not a lot of room between the pond and the wall, so we could pull this wall uh, east and bounce that out. But I think that, that makes for a more interesting look here, right? Feels like there's a nice border. Doesn't swing out so much. Uh, I have, I can do the same thing here that I did here. And then up here, there's less of a huge, um, what was it that McScrew Guns had? Rugby pitch <laughs> to worry about here. Uh, so I think I'll just group these up together to suggest flowers go here. We will figure out what exactly flowers, what kind of flowers, all that kind of stuff later. I think that's good.
Yeah, yeah. Decent amount of progress. I really like the way we've got... Uh, nothing's finished there, but from here all the way around, I think the trim and the details around the backside of the farmhouse are good. Obviously, we have not tackled the front. So I'll be doing this stuff before I do that stuff, just to make sure I have the right blocks and things. We were also able to throw in some extra details like this little carrot garden, which I think works out well. Uh, we've got some extra stuff back here. And I sort of was bleeding the texture around, trying to figure out what to do at the back here. And uh, then we've got the course to wood piles. So we've got the side yard and the back, immediate backyard kind of done. I'm not so sure about this one, We'll have to figure out what's going ha to happen here. It could be just something as simple as putting grass in here, whatever. Uh, I do like the addition of some stones here and there. I think that that's helpful. So I may do more of this in the future. It helps make it feel like it's on top of something solid. Uh, but I'm going to pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. And I think last I checked, we had uh, a few folks... Let's raid short Zelda 22. They're a lot of fun. I think you'll have a good time. And we will, of course, be recording the spawn chunks tomorrow with Pixel Riffs. Johnny and I do that uh, Minecraft podcast every Monday. You can check out things like that, uh, as well as my other podcast, the Citadel Cafe at joelduggan.com. That links to everything. Twitter, Instagram, both podcasts, uh, as well as Patreon. If you'd like to support the stream, like so many lovely people today, then um, you can follow for free. You can tell your friends also free. Uh, you can retweet. You can share Instagram stories. All that costs you nothing and does a great deal to help me spread the word about the the, uh, the streams. But if you'd like to join the Discord, you can do uh, a tier one like so many people did today, and I really appreciate it. There's also the bits, which is lovely. Uh, but Patreon is a great way to also join the Discord. It's only $2 a month, less than a price of a cup of coffee, and uh, it does a great deal to keep me streaming. Thanks so much for hanging out, folks. I will see you all next time. Bye for now.